Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof Omar. Today we're going to talk about the Virginia Tech Regional Math Competition problem number four on the 2017 exam. Now, the thing I like about this problem is it's actually a really interesting relationship between the area of a triangle and areas of dissections within it. So the problem states the following. You have a triangle and it has area T. So I'll just draw like a random triangle here, like that and like that. Okay, and then you're given some information about the triangle. You have an interior point P somewhere, so maybe like right over here, right? And then you're given that through the point P, we draw parallel lines to the three sides. Okay, so we can do something like this. I'll just draw them really roughly. So we have something like this, uh, like that, and then like that. Okay, so this splits the tr big triangle up into th six regions, three parallelograms, and three triangles, and we're given that the area of the three triangles are A, B, and C. All right, and then we know the area of the big triangle is T, and then it asks us to prove this relationship that says that the square root of T is actually the square root of A plus the square root of B plus the square root of C. That's kind of neat. Um, this is sort of a neat phenomenon that's true regardless of where this point P is. Um, and so, all right, let's try to dive in. So we're going to have to use all the pieces of the puzzle. So let's actually give all the pieces names. So maybe we'll highlight this in a different color. Um, okay, so first of all, we'll label the triangles vertices A, B, C. And then we'll give names to all these other sides. So um, starting with maybe D, E, F, G, H, and I. All right, so we notice that we have a bunch of similar triangles here. So the triangle ABC itself is similar to all these three triangles with areas A, B, and C respectively. Um, so I should say similar here, uh, not congruent. So this is similar to triangle DEP, and that's similar to triangle PFG, and that's similar to triangle IPH. Okay, so the similarity might actually help us in a way to figure out some relationships between things. So for example, because ADPI is a parallelogram, we know that this side length right over here, AD, is actually the same as the length IP. Okay, and then we also know that the length EB is the same as the length FC. Okay, and the remaining length in AB itself is this length DE right over here. So why mention this? Well, from that observation, you notice that the side length AB is partitioned into three pieces. This AD piece, which has a side whose length is the side of one of the triangles that we started with, the triangle with area B. And then we have uh, the side D or the segment DE, which is a side length of the triangle A, and EB, which is a side length of this triangle that has uh, area C. So we've dissected AB into three pieces, each of which use side lengths of the three triangles that are interior here. And also they're all the same side in the similarity involved, right? So we have uh, the side DE, and then we have uh, PF and IP. So it makes sense then to try to relate uh, side lengths here, mainly because we know something about ratios of side lengths. So for example, if you look at AB, we actually know the ratio of the length of AB to all of these sides, like IP, um, AB, and PF, and AB, and DE. Right? And the reason we know these is because we know the relative areas and the triangles are um, similar from this statement. So for example, since the area of the big triangle is T and the area of triangle IPH is B, 
the side lengths will have ratios that are the square roots of each of these um, things divided by each other. So, for example, here, the ratio will be the square root of t over the square root of b. Again, because the area of the involved triangles have a ratio of t to b, so and um, area is quadratic in side length. So similar here, we'll have square root t over square root c, and here we have square root t over square root a. Okay, but here's the thing. So a, b itself is actually the sum of these lengths. So um, if we look at a, b is going to be the same as i, p plus p, f plus d, e. Again, by this observation that a, b is actually a, d plus d, e plus e, b. And this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. All right, so then that tells us something here. Um, so if we divide it by, there's a lot of ways to sort of observe what I'm about to observe, but if you divide by a, b, here on the left we get 1, and on the right, by this information, we get the square root of a plus the square root of b plus the square root of c all over the square root of t. So indeed, the square root of t is the square root of a plus the square root of b plus the square root of c. Okay, cool. So I think there are sort of like a couple of lessons from this problem. I think, first of all, one of the things that is really highlighted is the fact that all of these internal triangles are similar to the large triangle. So that's an important fact and feature that was used. But more interestingly, I think, is this idea of dissecting the side length AB into side lengths that are the same as those of the three triangles involved. And furthermore, this idea, which often sort of gets, I think, overlooked, which is that if you scale the side length of a triangle linearly, then the area squares quadratically. Um, and sometimes just knowing that can get you quick things like um, these ratios right over here. Okay, great. So a cool phenomenon that happens with dissection of triangles that brings about this really interesting relationship between areas. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to the channel.